Hey guys, um, I just want to get straight into this video. It's not going to be a long video, but I feel that it's a video that's very important. Important to address uh, these things, not only for my mental health, but to possibly help others um, that are feeling the same emotions that I'm feeling um, as of today and just things that we've always felt because of the color of our skin, but we kind of been programmed or taught to be, I don't know, I guess I would say complacent, but with everything that's going on and all the of the tensions that have risen more so far i feel that it's very important for us as a race as people of you would say color of people of color um more so my people it has been so exhausting so tiring hurtful just so many emotions anger disappointment these past few weeks and not only for George Floyd but for everyone else that has died at the hands of police brutality that has been terrorized harassed or died from white people um it's it's I don't know how to say it. It's, it. it's so, it's like we're here now again, like we're, this is, this is still like, this is how you guys still feel. Um, it's, it's so painful. It's, some days it's so hard to even, some days I wake up confused as, confused as hell, like, you know, like why? Even though I know why or understand why, it's still why, you know? Um, and to see the outpour of hate is so disgusting. Um, and I know a lot of people may not like this video, may not care for the video, but for the ones that do and care to understand or care to even just listen out, this is for you. For the people that's with the hate and like just just go because this video is not for you because you don't want to understand um the pain that we are going through um uh, one thing that really um it bothers me it it it's it annoys me when people say all lives matter i mean i've been hearing it forever we've been hearing it forever especially these past couple of weeks no one's saying that all lives don't matter. No one's saying that our life is better or more important than yours. But we are the ones that are being murdered because of the color of our skin. We're being harassed and terrorized and just, we have, like, we're being attacked because of our color. So that's why black lives matter. All lives matter, yes. It's, this stuff goes so, every day, I'm, this stuff goes so far back and every day I learn something new, I'm learning something new. Um, whether it's from social media, the news, um, just people, period. Um, but every day we learn something new about our culture. Things that I wish that I was taught in school and now is a time to definitely teach our children because they're not gonna learn this in school as well. Um, my husband, he's from the Caribbean. They learned about a lot of our history, if not all of our history, but a lot of our history in the Caribbean. The Caribbean taught everything. And schools up here in the American uh, education system, they don't, they don't teach us these things. They only teach you about Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and Harriet Tubman. That's in a whole. They don't teach us about, like a lot of people didn't know. And I learned a few years ago, I wanna say maybe about five, six years ago, I learned about the, um, what we call Black Wall Street in Tulsa, how they bombed American citizens. 
because of our the color of our skin because we were progressing and they were in fear of us being inferior or whatever they fear you know we still don't know to this day um i mean we know but they don't you know they don't want to say why but um um yeah like we had our own community and we were progressing as a people and we got bombed on american soil our people were bombed they come up with this whole thing we got bombed because some guy supposedly touched a white woman she lied and you know that happened a lot um but um that's not why that gave them a reason to say that's why they did it but it it's so many things I can talk about. There's so many things I can express and start to somewhat educate people on, but I'm not gonna go there. If you really want to know and you really want to learn, if you have to, it's best that you go out and educate yourself because they're not gonna teach it in our school system. Um, and they don't want us to, they don't want it to be known. That's why it's not taught in the school system. It's a reason for that. Um, excuse me guys if the video is all over the place I'm just kind of like expressing myself um, expressing my anger um, just all my emotions just kind of putting it out there so if you are going through the same things the same feelings as me the same emotions the same questions then this video is for you we have to we have to see what's coming we have to and I don't know if they're going to let this video stay up. I don't care. As long as it can reach, even if it reaches one person or two people. Um, but we have to, mental health, our mental health is serious. It's, we, we, we need to express ourselves and talk about these things now. Now. Now is the time. It's been the time. Um... I've talked about these things with my friends. If you see my skin color, we're not crayon, Crayola box colors. My skin is brown skin, but I'm considered African-American or black, same thing. My skin is brown. We're different shades and tones of brown. But I've talked about this with my, um, my friends who are black, expressed ourselves because we need to. We need to express this hurt and this pain that we're going through. There's plenty of times I have cried watching these videos that are so traumatic. But if these if these videos were not put out there, we'll never know. We would never have things that's going on now. They would not be going on because they would be covered up. Videos all over the place. I'm just, this really and truly is a video of me just expressing myself. Um, a call for justice, man. You know, whatever justice there may be um, in this justice system that we have. Um, and not all cops are bad, you know, they're not. But if you don't speak up and you're a cop and you see this happening, you're just as bad as them, as them. I'm sorry. It's true. You have to think about that. If in your conscience, you know you work, you have these co-workers that are pure evil and don't have good intentions, and they are really not out there to protect and serve everybody, no matter what race, then you're just as bad as them. If I had a co-worker, and my co-worker I know, or I had a friend that was beating on someone, abusing someone, or I know it was a murderer or just racist or whatever. If I didn't speak up and say anything, I'm just as bad as that person because I'm being complacent and I'm allowing this behavior. I'm allowing them to, you know, I'm not calling them out or speaking up about what they're doing is wrong. Then I'm just as bad as them because I'm holding a secret for them or I'm, I'm, I'm just letting them, you know, have this, like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm pretty sure you guys understand, but I would be just as bad as that person. I might as well be the racist person or the murderer or whatever, because I'm just as, I'm an accessory, basically. So you guys, as cops, you don't call that out. I understand everyone needs their, their job. But if you don't call it out, if you don't stand for something, then you stand for nothing. 
nothing at all. That's plain and simple. Not all people are bad. Not all white people are whatever, are, are racist. But a lot of you guys, as I said, have friends that are, and you know they are, and you don't call them out. And the ones that do, congratulations. But the ones that don't, you're just as bad as them. Happy Juneteenth, everybody. Um, this is something... I'm like conflicted. I don't know if we should be celebrating or not. I mean, today is the day that we were freed uh, from slavery. But then again, you got to think about it. Were we ever really free? It's like they gave us as much rope to progress in life. And then once we start really, really progressing, they got that rope and snatched it back from up under us and are not trying to bring us down, bring us back to kind of let us know this is where you guys belong. That's how I feel personally. That's my personal opinion. If you don't feel that way, you feel how you feel. This is my opinion. This is not a opinion of everybody, um, you know, everybody else. This is just my opinion. And that's how I feel. Yes, I will celebrate this day. And I, I'm happy that people recognize this because it should have been recognized like always always um you know and i can't blame us for now just really recognizing and celebrating and i can't blame everybody else but then again it's like it's it's like a double-edged sword it's like yay we were free from slavery in that and but then again it's like you gave a dog a bone you know what i'm saying and um that's what it feels like too and this is, these are the struggles that we go through as black people. We, we don't know who's genuine, genuine, who's not, who's real, who's not, who to trust. Um, because we've been backstabbed and we've been backstabbed since, <laughs> since forever. So these are the things that we feel in everyday life. If you are not the same race as me, you don't have these feelings. You guys don't think about these. You don't have these thoughts like we do. Um, and a lot of it's not your fault because that's just how you was born and raised. Uh, but now you guys, it's, it's information out there. It's a lot of things out there. So it's time to learn if you really care. If you really care, it's time to learn, recognize, and stand up for what's right. Because everything that's going on right now is wrong. Dead wrong. We're getting killed off left to right. For doing nothing. The system was not made for us. Prison system, all this, it was not made. Well, it was made for us to put us there. We were not made to succeed and progress. Only for... You know, like I said, only for just a bit. Give us a little something to keep us quiet and keep us complacent and sort of keep us happy. But once we start, we have billionaires, millionaires. People are, our people are educated. We're getting into Yale and Harvard, you know, top schools becoming, you know, not only basketball players and, and football players, we're becoming baseball players. We're becoming scientists, astronauts. We're making something of ourselves you know a lot of us are not just stuck in the the system of oppression and that's what you that's what they can't take that's what they're going to try to stop now and we got to keep our foot on the gas that's all i really can say keep our foot on the gas we refuse to have our necks stepped on anymore. Everybody is being put out there, especially all the Karens. Oh boy, boy, boy. Those Karens, they've always been there. We, <laughs> they've always been there, like, but they're just not being put on camera and they deserve to shine. They deserve for 
you guys to see how wicked they are and how evil they are and how they just think they're above any and everything and everybody, you know. This country, this world, period, wouldn't be what it is or how it is without our people. White people did not build this land on their own. That's another story. But we helped build this land. So it's just as much ours as it is theirs. But, you know, not to go all into the Bible thing because um, I'm still learning myself. Um, but if you know, you know. You know wh whose land this is and who this is for, who time, whose time this is. But um, I just wanted to come on and make a a, a, a a quick video. Just expressing myself about all of this injustice that is happening. But rest assured, we can't sleep, guys. We can't be complacent. Stand your ground. Stand for something. If you don't stand for something, you stand for nothing. So you might as well go sit your ass back and go home. That's how I feel. And um, like I said, I know I probably may receive some backlash. I might not some big YouTube star or anything like that. But a lot of people do watch my videos. So whoever may come across my video, they may or may not like it. And um, I may receive backlash. But I'm not changing what I say or how I feel because this is how I feel and this is my opinion. These are my thoughts and this is this is me. I have a lot of learning to do. And we, we all do as people, as people that really want to learn and care. Um, but until then, it will continue to be unrest because my people are no longer sleeping a lot of them they're waking up and um so what's really going on here and um we're not gonna be oppressed anymore we won't so that's kind of all i had to say and want to express like there's so much more i can express I've been watching different videos, uh, reading different things, just educating myself, um, especially like, especially just not learning how to feel, but how to deal with my feelings, how to make a lot of my negative feelings positive. Um, I will do another video uh, sharing, you, sharing with you guys what I've been doing um, to protect my health, my mental health, um, because our mental health is very important. I'm gonna do, I will do a video on like different apps or different, um, <clears throat> cause I've been using like apps to help, um, with my stress and anxiety. Um, but different ways I just kind of, different ways I just kind of, um, try to stay positive and um, try to stay healthy mentally. It's hard, it's a struggle every day. Some days I wake up and not wanna do shit because it's like, why? <laughs> why, why should I? And um, other days I'm like, get up out of bed because you're, you are worthy, your life, you're worthy. Um, I'm probably gonna make it. <laughs> probably make a, 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 like a part two of this video because I feel like this was like impromptu. I just really have been meaning to really just make a video if, like expressing myself. Um, but this is a continuous conversation. And next video I make, I'm pretty sure it will be more organized and more, um, yeah, it will have a flow to it and me speaking on topics. But this is just me, like just me naturally, like this is naturally me expressing what I feel. Um, and this is what I created this channel about anyway, as I've said in uh, previous videos, this is like, I'm not gonna be cookie cutter because I, I don't look cookie cutter for one. Uh, for two, everything I do is not conventional. So, um, but this is 
this is just me and this is this is the most realest i can be and this is what i'm going to give you guys and if you like it hey great thank you so much for watching my video subscribing and supporting me if you don't that's fine that is fine i'm not here to please everybody because i can't i can't and i won't i won't that's <laughs> i won't please everybody but um yeah i just want to get that out there and um just say it's been a rough roller coaster and this roller coaster ride is not done. We're just getting started. Um, we are just getting started, people. But like I said, let's not take our foot off the gas. Keep your foot on the gas. And we keep working towards uh, just the betterment of us. Today's Juneteenth. I'm pretty sure I'm going to release this video today. Uh, it's not going to take me long to edit and, and release it. So... Um, I do have another video that I'm going to be releasing uh, probably most likely over the weekend. I just also finished filming my um, braces video. I think it's like my three month, but it was like my first appointment back from the whole pandemic thing, which is still going on. That's a whole nother story. But um, so I filmed that video. I do have to edit that video. That video will be coming um, sometime this weekend. But this video, I'm definitely going to put it out today because I really don't have to edit it because I said what the hell I said and I'm not changing shit so um yeah thank you guys again for su supporting me uh, thank you for the likes the comments the you know the, the 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 positive messages I get um I'm so sorry that it's taking me so long but with so much that is going on today, it's kind of hard sometimes to just like get up and film because it's like with everything going on, why do somebody care to see me film about how I plan my daily life or how to do a freaking grocery haul or whatever? You know, like it's like, why is that important right now? Because it's not. Um, but then too, I had to tell myself like, People have to do things to, like people need motivation. Like I need motivation. This, these past few weeks, I've been remodeling my whole house. I am not done. Um, my husband said I should have been like recording me remodeling stuff, like painting and all this stuff. But I just, I just like wasn't in the mood to, I'm not done, like I said. So I may, moving forward, uh, record some of my, remodeling videos um i just didn't feel the need to i just needed to do something to like just to keep me level-headed and and calm not to forget what's going on but to just not be so overwhelmed in it so um that's kind of what i've been doing so i'm gonna end this video out now like i said i'm probably gonna do another part to this video um a part two because i was kind of like all over the place but i just wanted to like get it out there um for us all that are that are being for everybody that's being overwhelmed and have these emotions so um yeah so until next video thank you guys for rocking with me and i hope you continue to rock with me because i'm not going anywhere <laughs>